Whoa! Hey there! I see you stumbled upon my channel. Don't be afraid, I won't try to scare you yet. I heard you want to get a motorcycle. If that's the case, pull up a chair, my baby squiddle, and have a seat next to your good ol' Papa Yams. Today we're talking about motorcycles for the 18 plus crowd, the ones your parents warned you about, nakeds. The jokes in this one will be worse than a dad joke at a family reunion. In all seriousness, naked bikes are the best, and here's why. What is a naked? You've probably heard the term used a couple of times if you're just getting into bikes. Maybe someone at the MSF course mentioned that they're looking at getting one at a dealership but really didn't understand what they were. A naked motorcycle that is intended for the street with more ergonomic and upright riding position. It lacks the fairings and forward leaning position of a sport bike, but it's also not an ultra relaxed and laid back like a cruiser. Nakeds are purpose built for fun and spirited riding on the street and roads, but they're able to handle corners that cruisers and baggers just can't with as much ease. Nakeds are also variants of their big brother sport bikes. Such models such as the ZH2 and the Suzuki GSX S line of bikes, for example, or Yamaha's MT line of bikes. Although they may have the same or similar engines to their super sport counterparts, most Nakeds are retuned for optimum performance in the low RPM ranges and with more torque. Nakeds are great for thrills on city streets, long twisties in the mountains, and even some track day fun. Nakeds can also be referred to as standards or roadsters. They're always exposing the sides of the bikes, showing the frames and the engines. Riders have converted fully fared bikes into Nakeds or street fighters by removing fairings and swapping out the headlamp. And actually, one of the three bikes in our beginner bike giveaway series, the CB650R, is a true naked, and it's still up for grabs with the Ninja 400 and the DRZ 400, but time is running out. March 7th is our official last day that you can get your entries in, so definitely go over to yaminoob.co, sign up and get entered to win, because you're not going to want to miss out. You can also go to yamandubemerch.com and get yourself some of the best industry merchandise and show your support for Papa Yams. As a thank you for every $1 spent, I'll enter you for the Beginner Bike Giveaway Series with one entry. Thank you for the continued support. Let's get naked and let's get back to talking about nakeds. Just send me nudes already. Pros. Naked bikes have a lot of reasons why they're better than other bikes, and here are a few. I already mentioned the riding position, and this is probably one of the best benefits to owning one of these kinds of bikes. Super sports and sport bikes, whatever you want to call them, crotch rockets, let's say, they're uncomfortable to ride. I'm not saying it can't be done, but after short periods of time, such as 30 minutes, they can cause some stiffness in the lower back and the joints. They're made for quick shifting, leaning, and racing. Nakeds, they're meant for practical fun. They're made for wheeling and roaming down your local streets. Nakeds are comfortable for nearly everyone to ride. They got an upright seating position, it's welcoming, and it's not overbearing in the sense of comfort. Cruisers have a very relaxed position too and a relatively low seat height, but on a naked you can lean forward if you like, but you don't have to. Sport bike riders force you into the forward position with no exceptions. Another good pro is their lightweight and nimble size. Since nakeds lack the weight of fairings and the extra couple of inches they add to the side of the bike, if you're a lane splitter, every inch counts. It's hard to squeeze by big bikes through moving Moving traffic, so the slimmer the bike, the better. Having a lightweight also makes the bikes more nimble, and nakeds achieve just that. Especially for beginners, you want a bike with a manageable weight. Anything over 500 pounds is probably a little bit too heavy for your starter motorcyclist. The last pro to a naked is going to be easier maintenance. If you have a sport bike with fairings, you probably hate changing your oil because you have to pull off the bottom fairing just to do so. On a naked, since it's naked, you can get access to your drain plug and filter without the hassle. Cons. You can't expect everything out of one bike, can you? If they made a Hayabusa ADV bike, that would probably achieve perfection, but here are the cons of the naked bike. Maybe I should turn my Hayabusa into an ADV bike. I should call Jake the Garden Snake, he can probably do it. The biggest con is that it lacks wind protection. It's wide open and naked, if you will, to the environment. How many times are we gonna say the word naked in this video? I think it's a lot. Sport touring bikes, super sports, and even ADV bikes have windscreens that offer some protection. In the case of nakeds, it's the same story as cruisers. No wind protection up front. The exposed body leads to a faster and larger accumulation of dirt and road debris. It leaves these components susceptible to damage as well. Another con is the lack of luggage racks and support. Sure, you can get side saddle bags and a universal type fit bags, but ADVs and other more sport touring bikes have better options. Nakeds are in a class of their own between sport touring and cruising. Don't get me wrong, touring on a naked bike is totally possible, but it's going to be a lot more comfortable doing it on an actual touring bike or a cruiser. 
Another con is that yes, they have exposed engine sides, but those exposed parts need protection. You can spend hundreds if you drop the bike and hit those exposed components. You can also upgrade from the standard sliders to beefier cages for both sides of your bike. Now the last con, it's a lack of top end power. So if you've ridden around on a leader bike and want to switch over to a naked, you're going to witness a different characteristic of power and the detuning. I'm talking specifically when it comes to manufacturers of the same ilk. For example, when I was out in Tucson testing the MT-10, I could definitely feel that it had all the grunt of a superbike at the low end revs, but it did not have the top end monster pull of an R1. So if you're expecting that out of your naked bike, you probably can't get it unless you get a ZH2 or one of those new Street Fighters from Ducati or that new MV Agusta, those are crazy. So the best nakeds. Since we're discussing these bikes, how about a list within a list and I can steer you in the right direction just like I always do. Papa Yam is just here, cuddling you, cradling you in my arms. Just like any other bike, nakeds come in the beginner and starter variety, the intermediate and the experience type, and even the balls to the wall hold my beer because I'm about to break a record or my body type. Here are three groups of nakeds to consider. The beginner. For a beginner starting out, you're gonna wanna have a few must-have features on your motorcycle. You want something that is adequate but not excessive power, a low wet weight, and is nimble enough to maneuver, especially for low speeds and tighter radiuses. For these reasons, I think the Kawasaki Z400 is a perfect choice. For this motorcycle, it's got an ample 399cc parallel twin engine that produces 44 horsepower and 28 foot-pounds of torque. It's a beginner bike with a low barrier to entry costing only about five grand new, and it touts Kawasaki's Ergo Fit. It's got a low seat height, and even the vertically challenged baby yams can go for a ride. Complete with ABS, a slipper clutch, and the 6P transmission, this bike is ready for anything a newbie's gonna throw at it, except for drops. Don't do that. You should probably get some sliders on it first. If you're gonna drop it, it's a good thing that this bike only weighs 368 pounds, and that's gonna make it easier to pick up. Another great naked option for the beginner is the KTM 390 Duke. This is a tried and true platform that is beloved around the world. It's got a torquey 373cc single cylinder pumping out 43 horsepower and 26 foot pounds of torque. This thing will rip. As a naked, it has an orange frame prominently displaced and is extremely nimble. With a wet weight of only 338 pounds, this thing can blow away if you're not sitting on it. That is near DRZ levels of lightweight. It has ABS and LCD display and will pop mega dank nooners. Did I say that? It's a torque monster because it only has one cylinder. Don't go dying on one of these, a turbo booster should be your end goal, but the KTM is a great and nimble naked for any rider. Now the intermediate nakeds. If you're looking for a well-rounded kind of second bike to buy and you want the naked, consider as a different type to add to your collection. A few of the better intermediate nakeds that come to mind are the Suzuki SV650 and of course the CB650R, just like the one we're giving away. The 650cc engine, specifically the 645ccs in the Suzuki and the 649cc in the Hondas with that four sill, offer ample power and torque. These bikes are best for those with some experience and can be used as an absolute beginner bike as well. Their wet weights are a bit heavier than their smaller counterparts, but they're definitely worthy for any rider. The SV650's got 75 horsepower and 47 foot-pounds of torque. It's going to weigh in at 434 pounds, which is a bit heavier than the beginner nakeds, but it's still pretty manageable. With the bump in power, it's still rider-friendly over other bikes. I did a bunch of videos on our giveaway SV650 we had, so be sure to check those out in more detail if you want to get my close-up look on it. And then the CB650R. It's another giveaway bike we've had, plenty of videos as well. The CB650R is different from any of the bikes on this list because it has four cylinders. That's right, Honda did its own thing in this category and did a four cylinder instead of a parallel twin or anything like that. The CB650R has a wet weight of 445 pounds and produces about 95 horsepower. That makes it a zippy bike that doesn't sacrifice low end power for top end performance. It's a great overall package and you can still win mine. Balls to the wall. I can't believe this is an actual category name and Manscaped didn't even sponsor this video, but here it goes. Ducati is such a fine manufacturer of motorcycles and there's no surprise they can do nakeds really well. With the Monster 1200 and the new Street Fighter V4, they have a naked for your pleasure. Without going too much into detail, I'll throw down some basic power numbers and a price tag and you can get an idea of the type of bike you're getting. The Monster 1200, which I rode a few weeks back, lovely motorcycle, has 147 horsepower and 91 foot-pounds of torque. It's got an 1198cc Tesla Treta engine an adjustable seat and all for only about 15 grand. Not too bad. The Street Fighter V4, however, is basically the Panigale V4 minus the fairings. With 1103cc of V4 fire spitting power, it's putting down 208 horsepower and 90 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is track ready to blow the fairings off your competition and rip mega dank nooners down the bad straight at 
20 grand, it's not a bad deal. If you're looking for a ridiculous naked as well, search no further than the brand new Kawasaki ZH2. With the same engine as the Ninja H2, albeit down-tuned a little bit, the 998cc liter bike comes with a supercharger in factory form. It's a supercharged naked. It's insane. It's basically a very small class of motorcycles already. It's got 197 horsepower and 101 foot-pounds of torque. This is a naked squid missile for all you flip-flop and t-shirt wearing needs. Last on ridiculous list of naked bikes is the MV Agusta 1000 Siri Oro. 998 cc's, 208 horsepower, and a top speed of 187 miles per hour makes this one badass bike to own, but as we've said before, these bikes are more or less pieces of art and not anything you want to squid around on. And with an MSRP of $46,000, this is not the bike you want to drop at the Costco parking lot. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about naked motorcycles. Personally, they're one of my absolute favorite category of bikes for around for around the town, on the track, and everything else in between. What bike's been your favorite naked? Are there any that you can recommend? Let me know down below. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Fact. Valles Marineris is a 2,500 mile long canyon on Mars. After Tesla makes an electric motorcycle, I will be ripping dank nooners on the red planet. Count on it. Goodbye.